Good morning, everybody, and welcome to worship today. Uh, this Sunday marks what we call in my tradition the first Sunday in Advent. Advent is a series of four weeks, a season leading up to Christmas, where we celebrate the birth of Christ. It's a bit of an oversimplification, but uh, we, we look at Advent as a time to prepare, uh, believing that the good news of the birth of Jesus is too much just to spring on people. And we need a time uh, to reflect, to prepare our hearts and minds uh, for the gift that is coming. So one of the ways that we often do that in that season is instead of actually reading from the Gospels, we'll read a lot from the prophets. So this morning we're going to read from the prophet Isaiah. This is chapter 64, verses 1 through 4. I invite you to listen for the word of God. The prophet says, If only you would tear open the heavens and come down, mountains would quake before you, like fire igniting brushwood or making water boil. If you would make your name known to your enemies, the nations would tremble in your presence. When you accomplished wonders beyond all our expectations, when you came down, mountains quaked before you from ancient times. No one has heard, no ear has perceived, no eye has seen any God but you who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. Who acts on behalf of those who wait for him. This is a bold statement from our prophet, and this statement points to more than just waiting for a little baby to be born. It points to more than this uh, traditional image that we have of Jesus as this meek and humble servant. What the prophet tells us today is that the birth of Christ is going to be a revolution. It is going to turn our entire world upside down. So over these next four weeks, I invite you to pray with me and to prepare with me that the Lord might come into our hearts, that our hearts might be open to more than the birth of a baby, more than a meek and humble servant, but that our hearts might be ready for the Lion of Judah, who will turn our hearts and our minds and our worlds upside down. Please pray with me. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the gift of your Son. And we pray, Lord, that you would help us to prepare for that gift. That we would set a table in our minds and in our hearts and in our souls, ready to receive all that you are prepared to give. May we be ready to have our worlds turned upside down, knowing that the Son who is coming is the Savior of the world. In the name of Christ our Lord, we pray these and all things. Amen. And now, my friends, as you go about your day, I invite you to go, knowing that the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the company, the strength of the Holy Spirit is with you today and will be with you every day of your life. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.